Hello everyone. Today we are going to deal with an act or a scene from one of the most famous plays of George Bernard Shaw, Arms and the Man. And the name of our lesson is Chocolate Cream Soldier. George Bernard Shaw was born on July 26th, 1856 and died on November 2nd, 1950. He was an Irish comic dramatist as well as a literary critic and winner of the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1925. His notable works are Mrs. Warren's Profession, Arms and the Man, St. Joan, Heartbreak House, Major Barbara, Caesar and Cleopatra. Well, before we get into the detail of the lesson, it is very good to know the context of the play, right? So, it is written in 1893 and first performed in 1894. Arms and the Man is one of Shaw's earlier plays and one that grows out of several contexts. The first is historical. And there was a Serbo-Bulgarian war in 1885 and there was too an historic battle of Slivnitsa won by the Bulgarians. Where do the actions of arms and the man take place? Yes, George Bernard Shaw's play takes place in a small town in Bulgaria during a war between Bulgaria and Serbia. The time is apparently contemporary with Shaw's own era, the late 19th century. The action occurs in the Petkov family's house and property. So let's now get familiar with the characters of the chocolate cream soldier. In the lesson, the chocolate cream soldier we have only two characters, the two main characters. The first one is Captain Blanchley. The chocolate cream soldier is a driving force of the plot, right? And he is a professional soldier from Switzerland who is serving in the Serbian army. He is 34 years old and he is totally realistic about the stupidity of war. Then we have the female character of the play that is Reina Pitkov, the romantic idealist of 23, who views war in terms of noble and heroic deeds. Reina is revealed to be not a symbol of perfect femininity, but rather a human being deserving of companionship with another human. So, what is the central theme of the play Arms and the Man? Well, in terms of theme, the central or the main theme in any work is often universal in nature, right? So, it is particularly significant in Arms and the Man because Shaw's main theme of realism versus idealism is as relevant today as it was when the play was first performed in the 1890s. One of Shaw's aim in this play is to expose the romantic heroics of war. He wanted to present a realistic account of war and to remove all pretensions of nobility from war. It is not, however, an anti-war play. Instead, it is a satire or a piece of art on those attitudes which would glorify war. Well, let's now see the explanation of the chapter Chocolate Cream Soldier. Reina Petkov is engaged to a Bulgarian soldier, Sergius Saranov. One night, Captain Blanchley, a Swiss soldier in the Serbian army, gets into Reina's room to escape from the Bulgarians. 
and a bulgarian soldier searches the house but reina hides blanchly thereby saves him blanchly thanked reina for saving his life the man explains that he is swiss a professional soldier and that he bears no allegiance or loyalty to the servants he asks reina to let him sit a minute longer before he must go back out into danger reina takes a long breath and points to the ottoman ottoman is a piece of furniture like a large box with a soft top on it and there she notices his revolver has been lying out in the open this whole time when blanchly heard her loud noise he was scared and she sarcastically suggest that he take his revolver to protect himself from her there he explains the gun is not loaded he carries sweets instead of ammunition and reina is annoyed at this she's a bit angry what do we understand by these the man further breaks down idealistic concepts of war by revealing he has no allegiance to either side as a professional soldier he fights not for glory or honor but for a much more banal purpose to make a living what is more he doesn't even carry a loaded gun preferring to carry sweets instead this is selfish indulgent and weak a kind of anti heroic traits right and the idealistic reina is predictably irritated the man wishes he had some chocolates now and reina goes to her drawers and scornfully thrust a box of chocolate cream his way he is extremely grateful and explains that all old soldiers carry food while the young ones carry ammunition urena proudly says that even though she is a woman she is probably braver than him and the man says that is true but only because urena has not been under fire for 3 days he then tells her that if she should scold him too much he will start to cry Reina is moved by his vulnerability and openness and apologizes she asks sorry from him she then draws herself up and says that bulgarian soldiers are not like him but he argues that there are only two different types of soldiers who are they young and old and that no matter where they are from they are the same he then remarks that is ludicrous that the bulgarians have managed to beat them but notes that their victory was basically accidental reina expresses her patriotism here that she says that all the bulgarian soldiers are like not like this man they are more heroic but blanchly says that a soldier's country make no difference only his age and this brings direct attention to the difference between youth and maturity when blanchly said that the bulgarian's victory was accidental reina demands that he explains himself and blanchly describes a cavalry charge led by a handsome young man who was immensely brave his bravery caused the other side to break out into laughter for they could see that the charge was stupid and foolish but then they realized they didn't have the correct ammunition and the charge resulted in devastating losses for the russian and the serbian side in their conversation sir it is revealed that sergius victory which the reader should recall previously proved that reina's romantic ideals were grounded in reality was not heroic and was instead rather stupid and very lucky reina was disheartened by his words 
and remains steadfastly loyal to Sergius, her fiancé. She points out his portrait to the man, who recognizes him as the leader of the charge. So Blanche Lee can barely keep from laughing, for the image of Sergius leading the charge as though it were the noblest and the bravest thing a soldier has ever done is deeply funny to the man. Reina angrily tells him that she is betrothed to Sergius and he says sorry, he apologizes. She tells him he must leave after saying such a horrible thing. But the idea of going back down the balcony and facing his own death reduces him almost to tears. But Reina must remain loyal or at least appear to remain loyal and she defends her betrothed from this man's cruel remarks. Though Blanchley can hardly keep from laughing, the man does apologize when he realizes he has criticized Reina's future husband. showing that he is at court polite and has affection for her though he undoubtedly thinks her silly a picture begins to emerge of two people who are more than they appear to be arena is disarmed by pity seeing his tears and comforts him and calling him a chocolate cream soldier and tells him to cheer up He says he is exhausted, he is tired and wishes only for sleep. He always had disturbed sleep since he joined the fight. But he realizes that he must go and tells Reina that if he should die, that will give him all the rest he needs. Reina anxiously begs him not to go. She wants to save him because the soldiers are looking for him. Reina is moved by the soldier's tears which once again reveals that her worship of the romantic hero is not entirely honest she clearly has affection for this chocolate cream soldier though she represents the opposite of everything she professes to value in a man thus reina saves the life of blanchly and did a soldierly thing well in this way who is called chocolate cream soldier reina calls the man the serbian soldier a chocolate cream soldier because of his fondness for chocolates and because he carries chocolates into battle with him rather than the cartridges so we are done with the lesson the chocolate cream soldier